on then. Let's get this over with. Oh, that's a lovely way to describe tea with your dad, that is. You don't summon me for cake unless you've got something to say. Just checking you're all right, that's all. Oh, well, I'm right as I can be. Oh. Under the circumstances, eh? <laughs> and how are things with you and Ashley? Oh. There is no me and Ashley. I used to think there was no me and Diane. She tried to deny it herself for ages. But deep down, we both knew there was a real bond between us. You're as bad as Sandy. You miss Ashley? Dad, I see him every day. That's not what I asked. You were really upset when he couldn't make your AA presentation. Yeah, cos it seemed right that he was there. He helped me get dry. Well, you could have asked me or Marlon. But no, you chose Ashley. Yes, because he doesn't look at me with pity in his eyes. Is that the only reason? We should never be ashamed of our feelings. Oh, Dad, why do we have to talk about this? Look, he loves Harriet. Your mother claimed to love me. Didn't stop her leaving me and going off with Alberto. I just want you to be happy. And you're not, are you? Life's hardly been a bed of roses, has it? <laughs> but there is one person who can put a smile on your face, isn't there? Come on, Laurel. I'm your dad. You can be honest with me. Look, if we were supposed to be together, why did our marriage fail? Because you started playing away. Ashley never wanted it to end. He always adored you. I broke his heart. He forgave you ages ago. I know, and that's probably one of the things I like most about him. He never judges me. He makes me feel wanted and safe. He's probably the sweetest man I've ever met. Who wouldn't love someone like that? Yeah, but this is silly. I can't think like this. Laurel. You are thinking like that. Yeah, I know, but it's ridiculous, cos he loves Harriet, and so does Arthur. Well, I can see it's a difficult situation. <sighs> difficult? It's impossible. I mean, maybe... <laughs> maybe I do still have feelings for Ashley. But I wouldn't want to destroy their happiness. I, I, I couldn't do that. Fair enough. So can we stop discussing something that's never going to happen, Dad? <laughs>